and maybe uh, the, week, the next week it will be okay. I hope so. I hope that we, you, you will work again. But I think you, you have to stay to your own this week. Okay, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it is my first contact uh, of the year with you, so I want to wish you a happy new year. It, it, it's not too late, okay? I want to wish you the best for uh, 2022 and uh, you and you, uh, all the family, uh, Darren. And you're booming and you were speaking at Pras 5 TV on your last presentation. You sounded good uh, as usual. Uh, propagation on the month of January is very unusual. We, we have a lot of short skip and I remember the last year it was close, but uh, propagation is different uh, this year. Okay, everything is okay here, nothing special. The weather also is, is not bad. Very cool early in the morning. Only around zero minus one degrees this morning, early, uh, but going up to uh, 12 on the afternoon. So, uh, okay, so uh, not too bad. But this winter was a little bit more cold uh, than usual. I think since maybe two or three weeks every morning, we have around zero minus one minus two, very unusual. But anyway, this is the winter. Okay, is that right, uh, Darren? Over. Yeah, QSL, Lauren, there. Well, we've had some ground frost the past couple of weeks ago there, uh, but we've been quite lucky here with, with living coastal. It's been not too bad, but we've had some uh, very cold uh, mornings there, uh, getting up to go to work and having to uh, defrost the windscreen and all that there. So, uh, But we've not had any snow around here. I know some parts of the UK uh, have had some snow there, but uh, we, we've been quite lucky here so far. And uh, as you say, for the propagation-wise, it's been... Uh, it's been really interesting, as you say. Normally, this time, we don't really hear France at this time of year. Uh, it's improving, all we can say. It's, it's going to be an interesting uh, uh, 2022 uh, with the propagation there. Uh, we've worked quite a lot of nice divisions recently. I know you've worked quite a lot of nice divisions also there. So, uh, we're hearing a lot of divisions that we've not heard in a long, long time, which is fantastic there, uh, Lauren there. So, hopefully, everything's okay with you and the family there, of course. Everything's okay. I'm actually chewing a, a cough sweet here and trying to speak at the same time. <laughs> uh, a few QS ago, uh, QSOs ago there, I was uh, eating a packet of crisps. <laughs> now, I've now got a cough sweet here. It's terrible, but um, there we go. But it's sounding fantastic there. I've got a new mic here, uh, so hopefully it's sounding okay. It's just a, one of the new wear. It's a new wear uh, NW700. I had the new wear... NW800 on before, but it, it just stopped working there, so I just bought another one, so hopefully it's sounding okay there, uh, Lauren there, so I've got that there, the boom mic there, uh, and uh, well, I've not had any bad reports so far, so hopefully it is working okay there, and uh, yeah, a lot, but worked to quite a few stations in Australia, uh, I've said about a month ago it was really, really good for the USA, it was unbelievable, they were sounding like uh, like locals, uh, the, the conditions it was coming in there, so it's, it's got to keep uh, uh, improving there and uh, it's just been in the shack at the right time unfortunately I, I'm in work sometimes and I'm hearing everybody speaking to all these uh, uh, far away places there and I'm working with no radio in the truck so I, I really have to get the truck back into uh, the truck I need to get the radio back into the truck again there so uh, but once the next sorted there hopefully uh, I think ho possibly back to work on Monday anyway and uh, uh, so so we can uh, start uh, earning some money again. I can't uh, keep surviving on <laughs> on the savings there, QSL. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I do understand, Darren. Okay, yeah, you sounded good with this um uh this microphone. The the setup is is very good. We we can recognize your voice and not too much bass, not too much treble. The sound is okay. It's working very well. Don't worry about that. And uh, about the propagation, uh, it's, uh, yeah, propagation is better than, than the last year on the same time, but uh, uh, usually it's, it's wide open on the morning with Pacific uh, and, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, Asia, Indian Ocean, uh, Russia, you know, and on the afternoon it's uh, Indian Ocean also, uh, Africa, uh, south part of America, West Indies, North part of America sometimes. Okay, but this is not a better propagation, but I think the propagation is going to change, and this year in 2022 will be much better, I think. And I hope that we will have uh, more long skip. 
I'm surprised about the short cap. Remember the last year on the same times we didn't have so many short cap, you know. Uh, so it's very strange, but anyway, uh, no complaint about it. You know, uh, on the summer 2025, uh, it will be the, the peak of the next solar cycle. So I think year after year, until uh, 2025, propagation will be better, uh, you know. Yeah, most definitely. It's going to be. It's going to be unbelievable. <laughs> the only downfall is we get older. <laughs> we are aging and aging with the propagation here. But yeah, it's going to be interesting there. And uh, I'm, I'm glad I'm back in the radio hobby. I know it's been about seven or eight years, or maybe nine years now. I've been back on the airwaves there. But uh, I'm glad I've continued with it there and to see through this. Uh, the cycles there uh, ahead there, so it's going to be really good there. Uh, yeah, at the, uh, the Indonesia, we've worked a couple of stations, but it's been really difficult conditions there. Uh, a lot of you guys in France have been speaking over the top of me, so it's been difficult. <laughs> and Italy as well, and I'm like, oh, you sods, you know how it works, don't you? <laughs> uh, but it's it's a challenge at times anyway, so that's what it's all about there. Uh, t I, just, I want a report there off you, Lauren, because I know you always give the proper reports that there. I'm going to turn off this amplifier and you can just tell me the difference there. That's the amplifier off. The amplifier is now off. Amplifier is now off there, Laurent. Uh, so I wonder what the report is there. And uh, this is with the amplifier on. So I don't know if it does much of a difference there. Over. Okay, uh, I'm doing a little video at the moment. Uh, I'm doing a little video at the moment. Okay, so uh, I will send uh, this video uh, a little bit later on your messenger. And, uh, but, uh, yeah, not a big difference because propagation is open. But you, you was, uh, without the amplifier, you was between seven and nine. And, uh, with the amplifier, you was picking up nine props, you know, so, uh, um, okay. But how, how many watts are you using with the amplifier, Darren, over? Yeah, so at, at the moment I'm picking one, two, or picking, picking, one, two. I'm picking about what, one, one, one about 1150 1150 uh, peak in there uh, I've not long had I had it all service reconditioned there uh, we, we got we had to get a band switch for the app there from the USA uh, because they're, they're obsolete now you can't they can't get them so a very old amplifier there so I'm, I'm picking about 150 not 150 1150 about that over okay yeah so it's a big power I can tell you that the sound is clean no different uh, when you are using it and when you are not using it. The sound is very good, very clean with the amplifier also. No different on the sound, so it's very good. And maybe uh, you have two points of difference, but propagation is, is really open, you know. Uh, so, uh, but with a, a, a weak signal, I think you will have maybe uh, uh, three points of difference. I think so, okay, so I'm sure. But now not a big difference, maybe two points only, but, but the propagation is open. Okay, on my side I'm using around 250 watts, picking up to uh, 300 at the moment. But I can tell you that this, this uh, old American uh, amplifier you were using uh, sounded good, that the sound is very clean, uh, Roger. Yeah, QSL, yeah, that, that's, that, that's what it is, it's usually about maybe three S points, maybe more. And as you say, if the propagation is open there, you don't tell much of the difference there, really. Yeah, it's, it's the old Kenwood TL922 Alpha. I think it's older than me, but I've always wanted one. For many years, I've always wanted one, and uh, I managed to get this one there. Uh, I got it uh, from a, a silent key sale here, and uh, I was told it was working 100%, but it's a silent key sale, so it's a bit of a gamble at times. And I, I actually drew three hours, three hours drive away from here. Uh, to go and pick it up there, but I was buying other equipment at the time, so uh, it, it wasn't uh, so upsetting, but uh, <laughs> I'm just glad it's up and running anyway there, and uh, well, everyone says the audio's clear there, because some of the amplifiers uh, you do hear on, on the band there, it's uh, they're not clear. Uh, your, your audio is uh, very clear there, Laurent, but you, you know the score, don't you? Some some amplifiers, you, uh, they're overdriving them, or, or they're just... Uh, they just don't give clean clean audio. <laughs> There's that many there on the market. I think most people now are running amplifiers. It's uh, back back to well twenty odd years ago there wasn't so many, but now uh, 
the, the many stations using amplifiers. It's 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 in a big way now, isn't it? There's m many stations there. Um, I got a radio friend up in Scotland there, and he's actually got an amplifier modified there with uh, some sort of uh, I can't remember the the valves there. They come from a television. <laughs> and uh, it's an unbelievable amplifier and it can go up to uh, up to 3kw it's, it's unbelievable the way uh, the, the, the chap has uh, engineered it and uh, modified it to run these valves but that's some that's some technician that knows what they're doing there uh, I wouldn't dare go inside one of the amps ju just in case I would have more than a more than a bad neck I think I would be six feet under over DTL922 is a great amplifier. It's an old amplifier, but working very, very well. Okay? Uh, and uh, no problem. But it's a big amplifier. You know, now you got some uh, interesting uh, um, uh, transistor amplifier with a big su su power surprise. Uh, 24 volt or 48 volt. And uh, it's interesting also the new transistor amplifier, MOSFET amplifier with big power surprise, you know, but my, mine is the KL703, you know, I'm using the KL703, a lot of stations in the United Kingdom are using this amplifier now, since a few times, I'm sure you know this, uh, this uh, big uh, mobile amplifier, okay, anyway, Darren, I have to go, it's been a big surprise to hear you, uh, you're very up and down. Sometimes you, you're going down to three and sometimes you're going up to nine, so it's moving a lot. I think uh, propagation is going to change. Okay, it's been a pleasure. All the best to you and your family, my friend. Be quiet before to work, and I hope that everything will be okay uh, the next week on the beginning. Okay, so uh, uh, have a lovely afternoon. Enjoy the DX and... Uh, well, I'm sure we'll catch you another time very soon because, like I said, uh, since the beginning of January, uh, very often we have uh, um, a little opening between your country and mine, so uh, it is very strange. So take care, my friend. Enjoy the DX. Congratulations on the uh, new microphone, and uh, the, the amplifier for sure is doing the job. That's why you are the strongest station I had from UK days today. Seven, three, catch you later, Darren. Bye-bye. Okay, Laurie, all the best there, mate, and a pleasure as always hearing your voice coming over to Tembe there. Uh, you stay well, stay safe, and all the best to you and the family there. Uh, you're coming 555759, five, right down to 5 and 1 in that last one there, so yeah, it's changing. Maybe some South America come in there, so uh, I'll float about before I have to sort the family out some food for uh, the evening meal there. Laurie, until the next one, good luck, stay safe, mate. 73, ciao. Okay, 73. I didn't hear any North American station. But now I have to go, I will come back a little bit later. But usually when the night is coming, propagation is fading in my location. Only some short gap when the night is coming inside of the Europe. Yesterday it was East Europe. And uh, we will have uh, uh, the same kind of propagation this, uh, this night. But usually when the night is coming, no more alone gap. Only short gap. Take care, my friend. Catch you later. Bye-bye. Yeah, same here in the evening time also there, Lauren there. 73, mate, all the best, good luck. Anyone, anywhere, this is it. Uh